Hey, this Judge Waits. How in the world are you guys doing today? In this video, I wanted to talk about field orders. As you guys know, the care package as a kill streak is gone from the game, but we have these field orders now to replace them. So once in a while, when you kill somebody, they will drop this blue colored or Cheyenne colored briefcase, giving you a set of field orders. So right there, you see that come up on the screen. In the bottom left hand side above the score, it says humiliate the next enemy. So that's what you have to do to actually complete the field orders and get your bonus which namely is that care package so i hear somebody underneath me and there he is so i'm going to teabag him i don't like doing that so please forgive me about that you know i think that's kind of crappy that that's the only controversial one that i've seen in here now you do not have to actually kill the next person that you see you can actually kill somebody and then later kill somebody and then humiliate them so keep that in mind about that one but sometimes you'll get things as simple as a satcom which isn't that great sometimes you get things that are a little bit better now in that first game that was a hardcore team deathmatch and this one we're playing some domination on core so you see these in different game modes now to be honest with you i don't know if i'm crazy about these being in the objective type game modes because sometimes you actually change the style of your play and you focus more on completing these field orders than you do on actually you know completing the objective or playing the objective but it does add a nice fun element that kind of changes things up like right here i get this juggernaut so that's pretty cool you know you can get some really nice things from these kill streaks or from these field order care packages now there is always at least one field orders in place you can see me shoot that guy he drops the briefcase i already completed one of the challenge so i have the actual uh, care package that i can throw it out so i'm going to throw it out right here and then go pick up the other one now, while we're waiting for those to come down, I will say this, I think there are at least 10, maybe 11 actual type of field orders, and they're pretty self-explanatory, except for maybe the Humiliate one, which I showed you right on the beginning. There are also Juggernog special ones, and I think there's at least five or six of those. Now, one of the things that I don't like is you know that humiliate one i don't like teabagging people so i really don't want to do that i also don't like laying down and shooting somebody i think that's kind of cheap but you know they kind of force you to do that i know it's your choice whether or not you participate in those and i was just wondering do you not do that because i know when i'm playing the game if somebody lays down and kills me or if somebody teabags me that's going to make me upset so do you actually participate in these and do those i pretty much will do any of them uh, i think i'm kind of torn with the teabagging one you know i don't know it's just kind of a really childish thing but let me know what you guys think about that let me know if you guys participate in those but as you can see i got a trinity rocket and a battle hind from two of these care packages so they can really help you out in the game now besides the regular care package things that you get there are also some special ones for certain maps all right so there are five special ones you know them because you'll see the grim reaper thing come up after you pick up the care package as you'll see here in a second but this is the map sovereign and when you get this one it actually releases a cloud of gas and it's supposed to be hayline gas but i think if it was actually hayline gas everybody in the map would be killed it says friendly hayline gas but i didn't notice anybody else getting killed on the map but it's kind of cool to have these special ones like like i said there's only five of those or five maps that have these so this is the first one and you'll see me call it in here in a second i guess i already called it in but there is the gas i'm sure you could really work this to an advantage this would be great if you're running around with that knife only maniac juggernaut thing that would be pretty cool because hardly anybody could see you but it really doesn't do anything besides release the gas on this one now this one that you're looking at is from the map siege and you're actually going to call in a missile strike I did not have an example for the map Whiteout, but that's another one. That's the one that's kind of a snow colored with that big boat and everything on that. If you actually get that one, it actually triggers a satellite crash and it actually grants your team a permanent level one SATCOM coverage for the entire map. So that's kind of cool. That kind of helps you out. But here is the one on this one. Like I said, you see that little Grim Reaper and it says missile strike. So right now I'm telling everybody, get indoors, get indoors i'm about to call in a missile strike i'd never done this and i didn't know what it would do but check this out friendly rocket strike inbound Is that it? 
I love that. Is that it? Yeah, I guess so. You know, I was expecting something more from a missile strike on that map, but apparently just one big missile comes down and hits this area and ends up taking out. I don't know if it always goes into the same particular area, but unfortunately that wasn't too cool. Now, this is the map Warhawk, and now this one is pretty devastating. I would say this is probably the second most devastating one, and I want you guys to actually listen to this one. Friendly shock and awe commencing. Alright, so with this one, obviously you want to be very careful with it, especially if you're playing hardcore, because if this strike hits any of your teammates, it's going to take you out. And I want you to see how long this actually goes for, because it's pretty cool, you know, it goes for a pretty long time, but I love how it spawns me outside. Man, I need to get back inside. So like I said, if you're playing this one and using this one in hardcore, make sure you communicate with your teammates and tell them to get inside. Now, this is probably the one that you really want to get. This is the best one. I've got my friend Ocho Blanco's film going on right here. He's playing some free-for-all. Gets the humiliation field order, and he's going to call it in. This is a chem strike, and it's on the map. Strike zone, as you can see, when you call it in, you are actually going to kill the entire enemy team. Normally, you have to get like a 25 gun streak to call in a chem strike but on this particular map apparently you can do things like teabagging somebody and earn it so check this out though that is pretty awesome make sure you check out my friend Ocho Blanco's video you can see his entire gameplay and hear him talk about this but hopefully you like this if you got any questions let me know if you do like it I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up but as always guys take care and God bless